Okay, so if you are wanting to make an admin panel inside of Roblox Studio, this is actually a very, very simple tutorial that I'll be showing you today, guys. So first things first is in your game. So if you haven't already, I have been making a few different admin videos. I made admin abuse and global messages. So we'll be using some of the scripts from that. But first things first is you're going to want to head on over to my website since we'll be copying code and information from there. So this will be down in the description. So one main thing to note is you can copy the code directly. But for some reason, this one specific code, I literally... I'm would I'm not joking. I've spent probably six hours trying to figure out how to get it to embed the same way all these other codes do. I literally couldn't. So instead, we'll be using this website where you can just copy it from there. So that'll make our lives way easier. So first things first is on the website, you know, once again, just follow the information. Very first thing you're going to need to make is these five remote events. So in replicated storage, you're going to come on in, you're going to just create the five remote events, and you're going to name them exactly these. You're going to name the first one admin global message, the second global message, then admin action, luck update and admin client. So the luck update, this is actually an admin abuse where it increases server luck across all servers, obviously a bit buggy, but eventually, you know, we'll go over that. That's in a previous video. So first thing is doing setting that up. So fairly straightforward. Now, the next thing is obviously we're going to be using the scripts that include view luck manager. So if you don't want to use the luck manager, you don't have to, but we will be using it for this video because I have already integrated it. So you might as well at that point, if not, you can just remove it from the three different codes. So first step is going into server script service. Now you're first going to need to make a script. So I'll go ahead and do so to make a script. You'll name it exactly the admin panel script as shown right here. So I'm just going to actually delete that one because it's not needed. But then you're going to come on over here. So the first one, admin panel server, which is a server script service, that's going to be this one right here. I mean, I'm going a bit out of order because, you know, step one, two, whatnot, but that's going to be this code. So I kid you not, though, it literally took six hours just to come to the conclusion I was never going to get it to work. So I just gave up. So you're going to come over there and inside that one, pretty much literally just paste it in, right? And delete all of it, paste it in, whatever you want to do. Then you're going to have that. Now, the next one, you can close this out. You don't need that anymore. It's going to be the admin panel client. So this is a local script. So it'll copy that code. And you're going to come on over to the workspace again. And then in Explorer, you're going to come on down to starter player scripts. Now you're going to create a local Local script. You're going to name this exactly once again. Make sure you do copy the names of each one from this section just so the names are down correctly. You're going to name it admin panel client. So admin panel client, once again, you can delete it, paste it in, whatever. You're going to use this exact code. Now I have tried to make little subsections where you can read it, look over it if you want, but as you can see, local fly controller. So we're going to have only a few ones starting off with this. And if we can get, I would say, if we can get 100 likes, you know, this channel isn't too big pretty simple goal. If we can get hundred likes, I'll make a part two, make this way more complex for an admin panel. But so first things first, this will only include a few different admin controls. So as you see, this will have fly invisible and invincibility. So pretty simple admin commands, but this is just, you know, a little rough outline for what you're looking at. Now, the next thing is going to be the luck manager. So this is the admin abuse one. So if you do want to use this once again, so you're going to go into server script service and you're going to create a module script and that module script, once again, you'll just use this one. And now once again, to make this work though, you do you need to make sure your game is published. So you need to publish the game and make sure you are an admin or owner of it. So as you see up here, I am a live collaborator. I'm editing. So you need to make sure you are first off publish the game. So if you have this game is live and it's already out, that's fine. You can just save this or use it in the testing, but you do want to make sure this is published for this to even work. And then we can go ahead and, and start. So a little bit of a problem I've been running into with uh, this game in general. There we go. So a little rough loading in. This is a network error. I just have bad Wi-Fi. So first thing to note is you're going to click F2. So this is what we're looking at. At. So we have text box. You This is a global message. You can send whatever you want. So you can say, hello, send. As you see, this is going to pop up globally along all messages, fade in, fade out. Pretty nice. Now, once again, you open this up and close it by F2. Now, this bar right here, this white bar, if you click it, it'll teleport up there for some reason, but this can be used to drag and move this thing. It's a bit bit rough, but I will probably fix this if we do make a part two. Now this is the admin section. So the fly toggle does work. So you can start flying. It's pretty nice. Now the invisible toggle, this one, obviously, you know, my character has particles, so that doesn't really work, but you know, that part still works. Now the invincibility. So this one, you can't directly tell if it works or not. Also, as you see, we got that times two server luck has been doubled, double it again. Why not double that again? Keep multiplying it. Perfect. So the one thing to note is this. So you can also target yourself. I believe this code does actually work. So you can make myself. If obviously, if you leave it blank, it's going to only toggle 
or yourself. But so the next thing we can quickly do to test the invincibility is make a quick kill brick. So if you want to test the invincibility, if you don't know what a kill brick is, we're pretty much just going to make a basic one that deals damage to us. So I'm going to quickly make one real fast. So, okay, I made a basic code. So this will just make you take damage. If you want to look at this, you know, get a rough idea if you want to make this yourself. So this will just be a little test. So little super slow load in. So if you touch it, as you see, you take damage very fast. Not an instant kill though, but if we use our admin panel and we toggle invincibility, ooh, it does indeed work. So come in, ooh, yeah, so we die. Now, if we want to test it one more time, invincibility, we do not take damage. We can even be invincible flying. See, it's it ain't doing anything to us. Pretty neat, huh? So anyways, that's pretty much it for the video. Once again, all this information is on the website linked in the description, minus, you know, the kill brick. But thank you so much for watching. Once again, if you have any other questions, make sure to leave a comment. And if once again, if we can get to 100 likes, I'll make a part two and make this even more intricate. I'll make the UI look nicer. I'll add more commands, all this stuff, and I'll walk through literally everything. But once again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.